Soul Blade is probably the greatest fighting game of all time. The only thing that comes close would be... WWF in your house. I mean, just look at that box art. The game's events take place in 1584, as nine warriors search for the ultimate sword. S swords. What is the... Um... As nine warriors search for the ultimate weapon. Warriors such as... Man with sword. This other guy with a sword. The parkour BDSM enthusiast? Uh, and some chick from Naruto. So the game is about finding Soul Edge, so I used legendary speedrunning tactics and played as the character that already has Soul Edge. Game completed. Little bit of backstories needed here. Cervantes' father served the King of Spain, but he died at sea. So Cervantes said, Look where it got him serving the crown. I'm gonna become a pirate. It's way safer, and they have better holidays. Cervantes was very good at murdering people and stealing things, but when the Merchant of Death asked him to do it for money, he said, No, I'm not some corporate sellout. I have a strong code of ethics to adhere to as a pirate. But then he changed his mind because hunting for cursed swords sounded hilarious? Finally, the pirate's passion for antiquing paid off when he caught wind of a secret auction. Apparently, an Englishman made a successful bid on a strange article. Satisfied that that sounded vague enough to be Soul Edge, he set out to intercept the man's ship and steal it. And he's never been seen or heard from since. Until now. Sadly, I could only get the North American version of the game working, so we're going to have to play as Cervantes' American counterpart, Burt Reynolds. We already have Soul Edge, so what are we actually supposed to do in his campaign? Well, basically, he listens to Soul Edge, who tells him to travel the world, absorbing souls and turning them into brain-dead husks. That's right, he finds something more evil than being a pirate being in a boy band. Uh oh, apparently some no good imposter is trying to mooch off Cervantes hard earned fame. Let's have a look at you. Ha! Huh. Just as I thought. He looks nothing like the real Cervantes. After finishing his Murder Everyone You See World Tour, he returned to his beloved port town in Spain where his ship was waiting for him. Yeah, apparently he just ran all the way around the world. But hey, he's immortal, he can do what he wants. Cervantes suddenly got tired of being boss round by some steel, so he challenged his swords to a fight. Little did he know that his swords were actually Skeletor. Too late, fools! No, I'm not 100% on the details here, but I think they took the fight to space? I mean, everything was floating. It, it, looked, it looked like Rainbow Road. Yeah. The battle was tough, but as expected, I won in truly heroic fashion. Now that he's no longer forced to go around doing terrible things by Soul Edge, he can go back to pursuing his dream, which basically involves going around doing terrible things like he did before he found Soul Edge. That's a bit of an anticlimax. But hey, that's how you beat the game as Cervantes. If you're interested in how to beat the game with any of the other characters, here are some useful tips. Step 1. Google Soul Edge. Step 2. Find out that it's actually a Christian group that offers an adventure gap year. Step 3. Sign up and enjoy a year of learning about Jesus and searching for cursed swords. Yay!